Hello there, how are you again? We are back. Well, we're not in the end zone anymore. That's the, that's the actual story here. I was about to say, we're back in the end zone, but we're not. We're back in the game called end zone, but we have left the end zone. Uh, now, this is set at electronics. I don't know how many of these you're going to need, so let's just crank this number up. So as soon as you research it, that becomes the next new option here. Now we are just generating some um, general knowledge. We're just studying life as, it, as we can. We have a lot of choices. A sturdy house sounds really nice. I quite like that. It's not real expensive. Um, and it shows you that, you know, the, the, the actual length of time, which is not bad. The kitchen is a fair bit longer. It takes a lot of resources, but then our food is going to be even better. We can start mining, which doesn't sound like a dreadful plan at all. Huh. Coal mining. Oh, because that's such a great job. The refinery. I like this one because instead of having those little buildings that are doing all the things, we can have just one do all of them. It's quite expensive. If you look at that, it's going to take up every last tree we have. So maybe I'm not going to start with that. Oh, I'm kind of liking the idea of this too. We have the solar collector already, and that's what he has just told us is that we actually researched this while we were in the end zone. So, you know, we've got some freebies along the way. The advanced school sounds really nice. Remember, we have those, uh, the, the kind of general knowledge, and then we specialize in taking care of this or that or the other. This one, kind of wanting this too. <clears throat> now, I will tell you that, um, that he, he's going to have us do that ourselves. It's part of the, it's part of the, um, I'm going to wait for this one, guys. How long does that take? We all, it's taking every blasted tree we have, though. Do, 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 do. cannot be used to collect water it just sounds so handy we're better trees or better homes let's go you know what we'll go with we're gonna give our people some better homes and we'll look at getting some more trees in here before we only have the one forester large Ooh. okay well there's the thing we're putting that in straight away um let's just do that you know what? I, even though they're going to have to walk, I know I know what I'm doing is probably not the best possible choice, but uh, we'll just have, you know, some cut here, some cut here, and some cut over here, and we'll deal with that. So yeah, they, they worked on the solar collector before, and that's going to start giving us electricity. And then as you saw in the research thing, we have, we have other things that we can be, you know, researching as well. The wind turbines, the... Okay, not a lot left to gather in there, so keep that in mind here, sunshine. She said to herself, we got this stuff nearby cleaned up. Okay, that the last piece right there. Good job. You saw I was watching, and they ran to clean it. I know what's happening here. So you clean up over there. The minute you've got this last bits here sorted, we'll shift you over as well got to make sure we're still collecting that we are back in another on well an oncoming drought but we i think we're you know i think we're absolutely fine i'm not i have no actual concern here whatsoever now what is that that's the drought i've heard we want to build a solar collector now here's the thing how big is this it's big enough is they're not going to mind living next to this that's that's good where are we going to want the power first? Notice the poles. We do have poles we're going to have to connect everything with, which I hate. But, you know, that's just my problem. Do we want it nearby? We haven't cleaned this up enough to put it nearby. We could put it out here and then run poles down into either side. I don't know if we can be attacked across the water. I'm thinking about popping them in here. You, you would think a power plant would be a pretty tasty target, don't I? I mean, kind of feels like maybe, doesn't it? They don't mind living next to it, which I find questionable, but okay. If we put one here, we could probably put another one here. So I'm going to do that. We'll just keep this little hub of science going, and then we're going to protect the heck out of it when the time comes. So now we can make better houses. 
I do have two new places going up for wood. And with any luck at all, we will have some wood cut by the time this is all gathered. Let's do that. I like this one. I like the fact that we can just do this all in one big place. And then I, because like I said, I have had a problem with metal playing um, elsewhere in the game. <clears throat> what are we going to have to do here? Do, 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 do. We're going to want, that big thing takes a lot of people. You can put a lot of people working in it. But we don't actually have anything that's required at this point, do we? Everything is pretty much maxed out or as maxed out as I choose to have it. Let's put it that way. Okay. Does this still have food in it? It um, it does. No. Yes, it does. Hopefully, it is being moved out because this is contaminated. We have food in here that is contaminated. I'm going to need another decontamination thing simply because I did not take the time to remove the food from this when I placed it there. I think that's too bad. That's really... Oh, there's the overall food one. Well, heck. No. Okay, no. I don't want any food at all there. You're not listening to me. Okay, you were, but you're supposed to do what I want instead of what I tell you. There's a difference. <laughs> There's often a very big difference. Okay, you know what? Let's just start with these few bits here. And what are you doing? You're over here. Tis a lovely thing. We can start cleaning up. We're going to start cleaning up back here again, too. And all of this. That's a long haul for them to go, but... But... Okay, how are these? Are, where's our... Okay, we're, we're good. We're good. These guys are set to both cut and re-harvest. And let's choose where everybody's going to be. We're going to start at this side and move you up, like, here. And then you... Was that this one? Okay, the middle one is going to be up here. If we have some overlapping, that's cool. It'll just be slightly more efficient there. And you're going to start planting back here. So there's that, that, that. That's not bad. We could probably move you down a bit more. That's pretty good. Okay, we're going to start, oh, always with the escape button. Start getting the, the wood, because that's, yeah, that's not good. Our radiation protection, we still have enough to cover everybody, so that's great. We'll be able to upgrade this too soon. Somewhere over the rainbow here. Taylor Shop, you are, they're only doing that. Can't we do this yet? We can. Why am I not, ooh, bad choices there, sunshine. Let's get some better clothing. I approve. You betcha. I mean, this is taking a lot more of everything, but we do have a little bit of cloth stockpiled, and that's great. I just want better, I want better protection. Like, absolutely better protection. And maybe, you know what, we'll, either we'll go back and forth with these, or we'll put in a second one. So we've got, you know, lighter days. You don't, you don't want to be hauling around in this all the time, I wouldn't think, if you don't have to. But, uh... Yeah, we'll, we'll probably put in a second tailor shop at some point. Or perhaps an upgraded tailor shop, which I know is on the way. Uh, we'll be able to do both, perhaps. Let's check our science. Where is our science? You're working on that, but I just want to have a wee look ruined. An upgraded tailor would do what? It plays more tailors and works more efficiently. It doesn't say if we can do more than one at a time, no. Reinforced backpack, what is this? More resources on expeditions, well that's great. That'll, that'll matter when we get to the longer ones. Right now we've got, we've got a couple of things really close by to have a look at, so that'll, that'll be good. And that, those are kind of fun. That, it's, you, you have, you get to make choices where you begin to realize that you could quite easily kill your guys off, so it's like, yeah, you give. You are actually going to be giving orders to them. It's it's a little it's a little disturbing. I'm going to be honest. It's like, oh no, I didn't mean to. Uh, what am I looking for? Logistics or decontamination post? Yeah, I feel like I need to put another one in. I really do. 
I've got the food here, and I it, it we know it's contaminated, so it's like ooh. Um, it's too bad. It's too bad. I mean, yeah, it is too bad. But who knows what else we'll end up with back here? It'll be fine. So that is waiting on uh, just a few more electronics. We have some, so they're just gonna have to haul the things in and the wood. The wood has dwindled quickly, but now we have more people. Did I? I didn't actually add more people to the work though, did I? Foresters, let's go. There we go. Now we're gonna have some wood chopping going on. Oh, happy day. Always with the killing of trees. Oh, trees in my Minecraft server. We are working on a, an event for spring. We have four big holidays a year and we build you know, big venues, we have contests, we have different things. And we have one for each season. And our spring one is on Saturday. Uh, what's today? You guys are gonna see this Wednesday, Thursday. You'll be seeing this on Thursday. So it's the Saturday coming up. And we've been working on this venue and the event is on Saturday. And I will be streaming that. But um, one of the guys, I call him my tree guy because he just builds, you know, based on actual life tree you know real life trees that are huge and wonderful and absolutely beautiful and he has built me the most glorious trees i am so excited oh they're beautiful they are just so so beautiful is there anything close by to do no we'll go get that it, they're really good they're so nice i am quite excited about showing off what the guys have done for this event it's really pretty Okay, so my people look relatively happy. Um, higher efficiency, newborn settlers will live longer. Oh God, higher speed of movement will live distinctly longer because they don't have to walk so far. So that's not that's not really checked off here yet. So apparently I don't have enough roads in. We need more roads. Give me more roads. So the, the ones that aren't this is roads. So the ones that are solid yellow are where I have roads. And these dotted green ones are where they are going in. And this is where I haven't even discussed the, the idea. Okay, good job. May as well. Let's put all the roads in. Oh, yeah, I see. Oh, no, that one's in already. The solar collector <gasps> okay, there produces it goes. energy by capturing sunlight and feeding this energy into a grid. The solar collector also gives us all the relevant information we need to keep an eye on our settlement's power consumption. Okie dokie. Woohoo! Each of your buildings automatically hook up to this power grid when you set up an electric power pole within the building's range. Hmm, buildings yeah. supplied with electricity work distinctly, more effectively, and produce faster as a result. Hmm. What's more, Housing supplied with electricity increases the confidence of the settlers who use it. Okay, so they, they like electricity. Now we have to start putting the power poles in, which is unfortunate because I hate the way they look. I really wish, we, I, and you know what, maybe I will get wildly lucky and we'll have an option to do underground power lately. Probably not, most games don't do that. But So the radius of this is not fabulous. It's not the biggest thing ever. So we need to put a pole. You can see here, look over on the bottom right, it says the power grid within range in a sort of a blue teal color there. And now it's too far away. Now we can put these right on the road and they do they do go around them. So that's not as grim as it sounds. Um, and if you look at it, can you just see the lines connecting already? You can see the little tiny wires coming from the center of the solar panel off to the corner of the, our science, um, our laboratory there, science research place. So I can put that right there, there, and that will go. And then I can scooch it along until I run out of range again. And that's pretty darn close. I, I hate power lines. I just can't even tell you. I hate power lines. And I will run this down the road until I run out of space and it's going to look like hell. Oh well. And you can see the lines go out automatically to whatever houses are in range. And uh, yeah, 
good stuff. I should collect on most of these. Now, what's going to be the closest way around? Do I do another one here and run power lines or just put one back here and then connect them in the middle? That's what I'm thinking. Hmm. Huh. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know. Maybe I'll just put in another one. Ooh, we got some radiation going on, so that's covered. We have the little plastic film over our, our fields. Keeping things as clean as humanly possible. You are, you should be doing metal tools. What the heck have I been doing? It's totally messing up. Ew. I put that in and then just didn't set it. Like the same with this one. Oh, I hate this. All right, let's go. We, we have to hire some people, obviously some places to. Uh, six, eight, eight, four, four, three, mortician. No, I don't need many. Uh, what is your problem? Because you are running out of what? What is the problem? Need, needs wood. Okay, so that's where you have just, the wood is just being, all these poles are made from wood. <laughs> Of course. So I'm glad I put two of these in right away and just went for it because this is going to be, yeah. Let's give them some roads too, shall we? Why, I think we shall. Because I haven't done that yet, and that seems less than optimal. Um, that's our, no, 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 go, stop. Do the clicky, do the unclicky, there we go. Do, do, do. So this is where I have it set already. The yellow ones are the ones that in already. I mean, I suppose I could do this. Whoops. This. Whoops. Click and drag, and then come from here to here like so. Yeah, I've got these little buildings tucked off back off the road, which probably wasn't a good choice because I have discovered that I can't actually... I thought, you know, if I left the space and had the road nearby, I'd be able to plant something in front of it. And I don't think that's... I don't think it's going to let me do that. So I have learned the hard way that I've not made some good choices, but... Oh, well. Shit happens. Can I put this straight across? I probably should just so these guys can come get a drink of water if they want to. I need to check my water systems too and see what I have going on where. Just to make sure I've got uh, everything where I want it to be. And yes, I could put a road all around, around there, but I mean, I don't really care. I probably should care. I don't care. There's the problem. Okay, so that's going on. We're just waiting on wood at this point. Well, that's too bad. And I need to go over and check every one of these buildings and make sure that they're actually doing what I need them to do. Because sometimes you build them and then you don't check the default settings. And as I have just shown you, I only did it so you guys would know, right? <clears throat> yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> You're so kind. <laughs> Okay, so now we're working on better radiation suits, which will take more, but that that's okay. More stuff. You are doing a temporary storm. Now we have food here, and that's fine. What is your problem? Uh, yeah, I, I realize. Yes, I do realize that. That's, that's okay. These guys are working at full power, doing all their little things, using up wood, of course. Temporary storeroom is irradiated, but you now are able to help take care of that, so... You do that for me, okay? Okie dokie do. Yeah, they're making nice little kits. We've got 200 set and we have plastic. Where are my kits? Metal. Right there, production. Okay, we're almost up full production too. Now again, how many do we need? I actually don't know. Let's just make lots. What the heck? So you are doing electronics. You are doing cloth metal, plastic, and I believe I have uh, cloth, or plastic, cloth, and metal over here too as well. You are a workshop creating the correct things. Thank you for that. And you are a work, I know you're a workshop, and you are finally creating the right, just 
wrecking, just using up scrap. Ah, oh, that's not a good day. Look at this. Oh, oncoming sandstorm. Remember those more sturdy houses we've researched? Yeah. But we have a lot of water. We have a lot of food. I don't really see a problem here. Do we have enough? We have enough things. Open the view for electricity. Do, 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 do. Energy storage because it's going on nighttime. So this is solar and we're not storing anything yet. This is still waiting on wood. Although, it, you know, we're starting, we're starting to creep back up there. So that's a good thing. Just have a wee looky. How many people are unemployed? Quite, you know what, we'll just put another, make sure things are moving around really good. We could have more farmers, but I mean, they seem to be doing just fine. The fishermen, of course, are having a wee vacation. Good on you. Open the view for it. Where was the view? Each of your buildings automatically hook up to this power grid when oh. you set up an electric power pole within the building's range. Buildings supplied with electricity work do, do, distinctly. Do, do. More yeah, effective. I got that part. Oh, here. It's down here. Oh, what Fantastic. I wake I can up only eventually. picture how our ancestors must have felt with their almost infinite supply of energy. And I like this. It's showing you, However, you know, what you're producing you and what each an building is using. I love to that. Avoid outages. We can only imagine how our ancestors felt. Yes, we got complacent and entitled. Logically, <laughs> the solar collector is only able to produce energy during the daytime. It would be beneficial oh. if we could also make a Now we start with the batteries. Night, so that our settlement remains. Because polluting more at night, yeah, or polluting our planet more, is, is our thing, guys. This is our thing. So the batteries, they don't like to be near that either. They're just not keen on this stuff at all. I'm going to put this over on this side because I think I want to put another, another um, solar do that do hickey on that side um i'm just gonna line these up actually i will leave a we now i'll line that up and well, i'll leave a gap there or something for the next batch but we're gonna put two of these in at the moment didn't i put that where i wanted it stop in the name of love before you break my heart i guess those are lined up why did they not look lined up i mean Hmm, they really don't, do they? Maybe it will. They do, though, when you mouse over, so that's fine. It'll be good. So we will build batteries, and we will start moving. Um, the sandstorm, I guess, is over. I'm going to start upgrading houses. This one. We're going to upgrade to a sturdy house. They're going to want power. That's okay. I wonder, maybe I'll be hauling the power along this way. Or through here let's go this way to give these guys power you know we've we've banished them to the the outer outer rim of civilization here <laughs> let's give them power okay I'm feeling bad for the people in the camps we can upgrade the camps here shortly too I'm quite excited now I don't have to follow the road you can pop these across here and just go directly over with it it just feels even messier than than these darn things already feel and I really don't like power lines it's something I I hate about North America I, I can't stand it I just hate it there's so many places I go to in Europe and all the power lines are are just buried it's just as a matter of course like why would anybody want to look at that and it's like that's a good question nobody does or at least I don't and I I love it I just I can't even tell you how much how happy it makes me to go places where I don't have to look at power lines uh, and if we go this is going to be using up more of our trees but I'd like to get, I want to get these around to the housing. That looks good. Some buildings are now connected it's to the power grid. Better. Although a well-structured settlement that's hooked up to the power grid consumes a certain amount of resources, it is enormously effective. Oh, and just as an aside, you can have electric power poles put up on many surfaces, even on roads. 
it's enormously effective everything works better you can have electric power poles in on roads i know <laughs> ah i do so that's one right there right yeah as far as I can get with that. I don't, all of these houses will be hooked up. Now, this is not going to be enough power for this. I totally get that. But I'm going to put in another power plant immediately. And I'm thinking I'll put it on the other side. We'll put one over here with some more batteries. My thought is if we get a raid that destroys one of them, if we have power on both sides, we've got a connected grid, which makes the other side you know kind of what we're i want to build in some redundancy i guess that's the word i'm looking for i want to build in some redundancy to this so uh we don't have to worry about things going going south on us if we uh if we get a raid that is you know scary which can happen so I want everything connected and i want things coming from more than one place which is just making more wires like everywhere this is so grim anyway that's a start with a settlement producing on a stable scale we can now focus on exploring our surroundings Ooh, we get to Nobody explore a now bunch of this is so cool zone. this part of it now it we really can explore the ruins our ancestors left window. behind firsthand right, to find treasure and resources Let's build an expedition you station. You are over here, which is fine, but I think, I think I want, this is, we haven't explored that yet, so let's go, let's go over here, I guess. Understood. We will build an expedition station, but I'm going to ignore him for a while because I'm going to put in another power plant back here somewhere. Um, we're just going to say, yeah, no. I'm going to put another solar collector back here. And we need 20 electronics. We have that. We have lots of little scraps. We've got a good, okay supply of metal. It doesn't take a lot of wood. Yeah, I'm going to pop this back here someplace. And this is getting cleaned up, so it'll all be better. I'm really surprised that they do not mind living by this. But that works for me. If they don't mind, I don't mind. But, you know, it's very quiet, maybe. And maybe it just makes them feel happier. And then we'll put a couple of batteries behind it because that we know they don't like, right? That's gross. So we'll hide it back here, like so. We'll put a couple of them here. And when we, you know what? I'm getting ahead of the, the tutorial here, but I don't think I care. I am going to do this. We're going to start with this because when we get to that part, my suggestion is don't do the bare minimum that the, the, the quest requires. Um, go a little further with that and get some good defenses up before you finish the last one. And now unless they come from the same place every time, you could end up losing some bits so better safe than sorry i think is what i'm i'm saying and at any rate i am going to shut up now we have powered up this place i'm really it's quite excited about this and solar power it's clean we do we are going to be mining for coal apparently which doesn't seem like a great choice from my point of view but we can research wind power we have a lot of options now coming in our, our way we're going to be able to do ooh, the siren, all the things. We'll be making ammunition shortly. This one feels kind of mean. Prevents them from boosting their confidence. I mean, they work more, but is this really who you want to be? I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm going to end here. Thank you guys for being here. I hope you're enjoying some part of this series. I love it. Thank you for the comments and the thumbs up and the follows and your kindness and your support. I really, really appreciate it, guys. Bye-bye.